What is good Tesla family, it's Ray J back with another video. In this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla Spy and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's happening with the overall market as we have more data coming out, but you should be watching for it on the chart on Tesla. But before I break the devil's information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you guarantee 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you guarantee 75 of them and offerings in just three weeks. Anyways, Tesla's been pushing a bit so far, but watch this resistance right over here at this 172 area. We're approaching the 200 EMA at 172.5, very close to that range. That's where our resistance happens to be. If we break through this, you're going to be looking for 175 as resistance, which is where we have this very, very important imbalance, not to mention the fact that we also have 178. But I just want to say that anywhere between 172 and 175, very, very close to this range, Tesla does have some tough resistance. We rejected off this area about two times the last couple of trading days, not to mention the fact that Tesla is still shuffling right here at the 172 area. Now, it is showing some signs, we're getting some good volume, and I do see potential for Tesla to try to push a little bit higher, but the problem is we're at some tight resistance, and even if we do push a little higher, you, you want to be very, very careful at this resistance because Tesla could get rejection. You want to be very, very mindful of that. Our key support is currently at 170.25, the 50 EMAs down here. So we'll have to see how this thing ends up holding up. As a reminder for the economic calendar, at 11 o'clock a.m., we have the Consumer Inflationary Expectations Reports, not to mention the three-month and six-month bill auctions coming out at 11.30. This is going to be very, very soon right now for Eastern Standard Time. So get ready for some volatility at that time. But I just want to say right now, Tesla is shuffling a bit, and we're still stuck at this resistance. If I pull up the five-minute time frame on Tesla as well, uh, we have a nice uptrend being respected here, nice double bottom. We are slowly pushing a little higher, but resistance is getting tougher the higher we go. So just be very, very careful as Tesla tries to push closer to 172.5. And even if it breaks above that, we could still see quite a bit of resistance. So want to just call that out on the hourly time frame. Going back to SPY and to the others, SPY has been pushing as you predicted, but watch this resistance at this 520 area. And we've been shuffling. We've been range bound between 518 and 520 for the last three hours, going back and forth and back and forth. Watch 520 is resistance. If we break this, we have an imbalance to fill out 522. Watch 518 is support. If we lose this, we could be sinking towards 517.5 to about 516.5. So overall, uh, there is a potential bullish wedge forming, but I'm not really convinced we're breaking out again until we break 520. Otherwise, we're just range bound for now, and we'll see if you get a breakout or not. For the QQQ, same exact thing. We have support at 440, very close to 440.6, which is where our 20 EMA happens to be. And our resistance is at 442 at the 200 EMA. For the past three hours, it's been back and forth, back and forth. Kind of stuck within this range, not really doing a whole lot. Uh, there is potential for this wedge to form out for a potential break to the upside. We haven't really gotten the break yet. We're just kind of stuck within the range. So just give it some time, guys. QQQ is just like spy range bound for now, and we'll see which way we break. There's a little bit of weakness on Apple, but Apple did get a little bounce very close to 168 flat, the lower 168.25 area. The support we called out, and now we're just kind of like shuffling it just under 169 as resistance. We also have 169.38, followed by 170 as resistance. As of right now, we're just kind of trading sideways on Apple shuffling within this range and we may remain range bound for now i'm still seeing a downtrend right over here and a little bit of weakness so we'll see if apple continues to drop it is showing some weakness for the time being we also have nvidia showing some weakness i mentioned to everyone that when it comes to nvidia uh, nvidia did have potential to push higher to about uh, 892. We actually came just short of that. We actually hit 890. So we came just short of 892 resistance. And then we got this rejection off here. I told you to watch and see how we react to 892. Came just short of that before we got this little rejection. Now we're trying to hold our support very close to about 872. I mean, resistance just under 880 at 879, the 20 EMA. So we've been shuffling for the time being. I'm seeing some weakness on the chart, as I mentioned earlier. A little pop and drop like move, which is dictating the QQQ. But now NVIDIA is kind of shuffling very, very close to 880 as a resistance, and 872 support. So we may just shuffle for some time. We'll just have to give it some time for the time being. And I just think that's going to likely maintain this structure for now. So watch this resistance right now, kind of trading sideways. Let me go over just a couple of others. Super Micro, I said to watch this 980 resistance. We came just short of that. If we broke this, 1,000 would come. If we reject it, look for a big drop. And we got the big drop instead. Coinbase, I said that this thing, you want to be very, very careful with it. 
popped a little bit, went a little bit higher than expected, then came back down. Watch 250 as support. If we lose this, a bigger drop is coming. If we hold this, we just continue to shuffle. I'm seeing a little bit of weakness on the chart, but it's still kind of flat. Amazon has support at 185.5. We have resistance around 188 and also 187 flat. Uh, as of right now, we're kind of stuck between 187 and 185.5. May continue to be range bound for now, and we'll see which way we break. Meta was trying to break out, but now we're kind of shuffling as well. We have support currently at 524. We have resistance at 530. Kind of stuck right now, so we'll just give it some time. With that being said, thank you all so much for listening. I want to make this video very short and simple. Tesla's at resistance at 172.5. Still continuing to shuffle. Very, very boring, if anything, compared to other days. So I just, I'm just going to give it some time, and we'll see where it goes from here. But as of right now, we're approaching some tight resistance. I want to give you guys a heads up about that and just let you know that it's not always the most fun to trade. All right, so thank you for listening. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in just a couple of hours, and peace out.